Hi there, everyone. My name is Shannon, and I am a crowdfunding strategist here with Fundraiser. Today, I'm going to take you through what happens when you hit that Get Started button on our website to start your first campaign. So let's get started. So here we are on the Fundraiser homepage. Now, whether you are just an individual looking to raise funds for a personal cause or an organization hoping to start yourself an organization profile and some campa campaigns under that profile, Either way, you are going to hit this button here, get started free. And then we are entered right into the campaign creation flow. Now, every category here is not necessary for moving forward through the flow. And the majority of things are editable after the fact. So don't worry about getting everything perfect right away. And I'm also going to let you know which parts are not editable later. So you don't have to worry about whether or not you're doing it right. So the first thing we're going to do is add a title. So our title is going to have an action word, so help, identify who the person is, the beneficiary, I'm just going to say me, and help the person with what. So I'm just going to pretend that I want to raise funds uh, for a friend in need. Help me raise funds for my friend. Your title should really be a bit more specific than that, but for now, this works perfectly fine. So category, this is what will help people find your campaign if they're looking for it. So right now we have a lot of different things to select from. Um, all of these are essentially associated if you are an organization, if you were just a person, ordinary person looking to raise funds for yourself or someone else, we're just going to put personal right here. And because it is just us, we are not part of an organization, we are going to click you or someone you know, because we're just starting a personal campaign. If you are an organization, you can click here and then it's going to take you through the organization profile creation flow as well. And if you are an organization, this comes with a few different features not available to personal campaigns, such as the ability to give out uh, automated tax receipts if you are eligible for that. And as well, you are able to customize the theme on top of your campaign. So right now you see the header of our bar right here says fundraiser. But if you're an organization, then you're probably going to want to brand that with your logo, your coloring, your fonts, et cetera. So you're able to do that with an organization profile. So click that part right down here if you are an organization. But we are going to start a personal campaign. So we're going to hit that one and then save and continue. Oh, you can change your title and you can change your category after the fact once your campaign is created, if you like. Save and continue. And now we are on the second part. So this is our story. Describe your project right here. We do have to populate this before we're able to move forward in the campaign creation flow. If I click right now, it's going to tell me that there are some items that need attention. But again, this bit is editable once your campaign is created. And even while it's live, all of this is editable. So don't worry about getting this perfect. This description of your project here is going to show up whenever your campaign is shared to a social media site or to email, or maybe there's a widget that you want to populate in a website. Obviously, whoever shares that is going to be able to write whatever they like in their personal post. Um, however, you might wanna make sure that there's a message, a proper message that is going out to all readers. So that's why it's so short because you have limited characters whenever you post something onto social media, especially. So right now we are just going to put TBD because we're going to do that later. We don't have to do the picture or story. So we're going to skip that for now and hit save and continue. And then we're going to go into a little bit more detail. Again, the majority of this is editable after the fact. So we can change our location later. I'll leave it at North Vancouver in Canada for now. The currency is what currency you want displayed in your campaign. 
So maybe you have friends from around the world and you want to be able to collect money from different countries with different currencies. They won't be able to donate and see the campaign in their currency if they click a little button, but the automated currency that they're going to see is the one that you set here. So I'm going to leave it, oops, I'm going to leave it at Canadian dollar for now. Um, you can change that later on if you need to. As for campaign type, I'm going to go over what each of these types mean in another video. However, it is important to know which one you want to choose right now because you cannot change this later. So if you choose keep it all and you figure out after you've created your campaign that you wanted all or nothing, you can't change that later. That's okay. You can just uh, start another campaign, but it is a little bit more work. So just make sure that you know which one you want here now. We'll leave it at keep it all, but I just want to show you that if I do click all or nothing, then the goal and the deadline are going to be required because you don't receive your funds in an all or nothing campaign unless you reach your goal within a specific deadline. So that's why it turns to required here. But for now, we'll just keep it at keep it all. And you don't have to put in a goal or deadline right now. You don't have to put one in at all. It is recommended, but you don't have to do one right now. So we will leave that as well. Okay, so here are some of the last details that we need to put in before our campaign is created. What is your banking location? So you are going to connect with a payment provider, so Stripe or PayPal. Wherever your bank account lives that is attached to these payment processors, that's what country you should put here. So even though I'm in Canada, I could have my Stripe and PayPal accounts attached to a US bank account, in which case, even though my campaign is running in Canadian currency and my address is in Canada, I would need to put US here because that is where my bank account that is attached to these payment processors lives. Uh, I'll leave that for can at Canada right now. And if you aren't ready to attach your payment processors, or if you're just checking this out to see what the campaign process looks like, you are free to connect to this later. You're, there's just going to be a few settings and a few things that you can't change until you do. And you can't launch your campaign until you attach a payment processor. So make sure you do that first. How much does it cost? Again, I'm going to go through um, this, these details in another video. However, just know that you can change your mind as to which of fundraisers uh, pricing plans you choose later on, even while your campaign is running. Because all of, oops, sorry, I get a little twitchy sometimes on the mouse. So even if your campaign is running um, and you change the pricing model, that model will just be applied to every transaction moving forward because all of our pricing plans are transaction based. There's no fixed fees with fundraiser. So that's why you can change your mind as to which pricing model you choose. So we're going to leave it at simply free. And if you're interested in reading our terms and conditions, you can click this button terms right here and you agree to them when you hit save and continue. And that's it. Now it says, congratulations, Shannon. And it wants me to review my campaign. And now I have a blank campaign page to work with. You'll notice here that there is a bunch of pencil icons that is going to take you directly to the edit setting that lets you change that feature. But if you want to check out all of the settings, you can always go here to your sidebar menu where it says edit. So play around, check out all of these different uh, menus here. Check out your task bar. This is new, it's a new feature, and we designed it to help make sure that you know every little bit of what makes a campaign successful. So check out these tasks. More are going to pop up as your campaign goes on, and then you can click right here and either mark it as done, snooze it for later, or dismiss it completely. So that is definitely an invaluable part of the campaign. Have fun. And always make sure to let us know if you need any help. We are here for you. I'll see you in the next video.